saints, churches, police officers, firemen, factory workers, field workers, American government out there, military, may God enfold you and bless you and shield you and keep you safe from harm and danger while you protect the country, president, cabinet members across the globe. We said before, I was young, now I'm old. I never seen the righteous forsaken. Nor have I seen a seed begging bread. Let me tell you something. A lot of times the adversary put people in your way. And they steal the blessing from you, pastors out there in churches that belong to the brethren of the Lord. The adversary know it. The one that the adversary use know it. But guess what? You pastors out there don't know it. You're like these apostles here. You pastors on this issue are like the apostles. Let me read it again. It said, they understood N-O-N-E, none of these things. This same was H-I-D, hid from them. Neither K-N-E-W knew they the thing which were spoken. Yet they come in your line and you go all out, giving them and feeding them and doing all this and I'm doing this for the Lord. Uh, don't let me expose your true reasons why you're doing it out there. Okay? Don't let me expose your true reasons as to why you're doing it. You know why we're doing it out there. All right? I got churches to do the same thing. I try to re reprimand them. If they listen, God will bless them. But the Bible said, he that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit say to the churches. So it is the Spirit that speaks to the churches. Then why are you speaking then? Why are you speaking? You want to know how come? Because the Spirit of the Lord is where? Not only upon me, but it is also within me. All right? You can't speak these things that you hear and don't have the Spirit of God dwell within you. There are some things that are spiritually discerned. But if you don't have the Spirit of God, you cannot spiritually discern. And you ought to be able to see and know those that get in your line, your prayer line too. That's why the Bible says, lay hands suddenly on no man. What do we do? <coughs> Quickly lay hand on them. You know why you do those things. All right? It's time now to take the cover off of a lot of stuff that's out there that's been going on for centuries. All right? The truth does what? Make you free. All right? It's time the adversary be revealed in your life. Stop running and stop hiding. Stop fighting the adversary. The battle is not yours in the first place. Who, do, who did the battle belong to? God said, the battle is mine, said the Lord. And you need not fight in this battle. All right? 
understand these things. Let me get on over here to Jesus healing blind Bartimaeus. In Luke 18, 35, companion scriptures, Matthew chapter 20, verse 29 through 34, Mark chapter 10, verses 46 through 52, beginning at verse 35. And it came to pass as he was coming nigh unto Jericho. What does Jericho mean out there? Heard before. Jericho means moon, M O O N, you know, like the night orbiter. Well, uh, those out there that are in the space station, they don't just see it once every 24 hours. They see it about 16 times a day. Big difference. All right? Or they're traveling overhead, circling. All right? Now they're circling, I think about 40 miles below the Hubble Space or Telescope, somewhere they're about. Same proximity. All right? When he come out of Jericho, a certain blind man sat by the wayside begging. Wait a minute. We just said that I never seen a seed begging bread. Did we say that? I never seen the righteous forsaken or a seed begging bread. Now watch this case closely. If I never seen the righteous forsaken, and I never seen the seed begging bread, pay attention to what's going to happen here. Thirty-six, and hearing the multitude pass by, he asked what it meant. I got to know what this means. This noise, this tumult that I'm hearing, I got to know what it means. But now watch closely the next verse. The next verse says, And they told him uh, that Jesus of Nazareth passed by. Now, that's okay. You're blind. and uh, But you can hear. And uh, your one impairment does not hinder your other impairment. All right? He was blind, but he could hear. All right? I wish a lot of y'all was out there. <laughs> could both see and hear. Having two eyes, they see not. Having two ears, they hear not, the Bible said. Y'all understand that? Huh. Praise the Lord. Let me just see what the Lord is here showing us. Uh, thank you, Lord. It's like the woman that had the issue of blood. In Mark chapter 5, 27, it says there, she heard of Jesus. Mark chapter 5, 27. She heard of Jesus. All right? She heard of Jesus. And here, here's a blind man asked, what's all this? What's all this? What's all this? And they told him that Jesus of Nazareth passed by. Apparently, he himself also had heard of Jesus according to the next verse. Because the next verse, verse 38, he cried, saying, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. We're going to get into that a little more depthful when we return. God bless you, global Christian friend, pastor, saints, and churches out there, military, American government, and farmers.